How has the tournament been for you? This is your first uh, time with national team? Yeah, it's my first time with Team Canada. So far it's been great, you know. We had a bad game yesterday, but we're still going to come back, be stronger, and we're just looking forward to winning every game from now on, basically. How does this experience, you know, differ, you know, compared to your high school team, your AAU team? I mean, it's a great experience, you know, getting to travel with the you know, representing your country first and then getting to travel to different countries. Like, we went to France and we in Greece right now. It's a different experience. But um, just like playing with good players, you have good players around you, everybody can score, everybody was the main guy on the team. And we all came together so we just can represent the country as good as we can. So basically, I wouldn't say there's a big difference. It's just like we play for something bigger than us right now. So, yeah. Tell me a little bit about, you know, your your background, um, you know, where are you from, that kind of thing. I'm from Senegal. I was born there. And then uh, in 2007, I moved to Canada with my family because my parents thought it was, was going to probably gonna be a better situation for us to live in Canada. So we moved there. And then from then on, at first I was playing soccer, then I switched into basketball not so long ago. And I, basically that's when I started playing basketball. And then... Just took off from here. What city uh, were you? Are you from? From Senegal. Senegal. I was born in Dakar, but I'm from Mo. It's called Mo, a city called Mo. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, why did your family move? Like, how did that process happen? Uh, like I said, my my parents thought it was going to be a better situation for us, basically for like better education and stuff like that. So we decided for not only for them, like it wasn't a selfish need of them. It was like basically for, for the kids, for us, and they thought we were going to have a better chance of like a future and stuff like that in Canada, so we decided to move on. Is it pronounced, is it Maine or is it Mane? It's Mane. Yeah, Mane. Yeah, but in English they don't pronounce the like, little accent on top of it, so it's Maine. Right. Um, any um, brothers or sisters? So what, what's your family like? Yeah, I have two younger brothers. Do they play any sports? They play, play the youngest one is five. He, he doesn't play, like, you know, he plays basketball and soccer too right now, but he's not in any club. And the, the one the one that's 16, he plays soccer, he plays for a prevention team, he's pretty good at it. Cool. Yeah. Um, what, um, you know, tell me about your high school team, what, what is that like? My high school team? Yeah. Uh, it was great, you know, this year, this past year, we just won our provincial, we are the provincial champion. Went to the national, we came up short, but next year we're going to be back. It was a great year for us. We had a lot of good players, a lot of good like, a lot of good potential, and we're undefeated. So that was one thing that we made history right there. That hasn't been done like a lot of, a lot of uh, I think 30 years in our, in our league. So that was a great thing to accomplish for us. And then, yeah, we had a great year, basically. We just came up short on the national uh, title. We're going to be back next year. A lot of people are saying that you were you were kind of an unknown. You came out of nowhere, but people are telling me that that's not exactly the case. You kind of been on the radar for a little while, and you just kind of made a big jump recently. Is that would is that accurate? Yeah, but basically, like where I'm from, Canada, we don't get as much exposure as like people from Toronto and stuff like that. So in uh, like in Quebec, I was known a little bit, but in Canada, I wasn't that, I wasn't that known until like a couple like a year ago. And then when I got the, the opportunity to play on the stage, like on the Army Circuit this summer, because last summer I played with uh, a team from uh, uh, the Circuit, but this this summer I played on uh, on the Army Circuit and I like, just had the opportunity to like be the main guy and just I just kind of blew up because like that's all I all I needed basically. Like I, in my head, I had the talent, I had the I had everything that I needed like as a player, so I just needed exposure. Did you grow, you know, did like your body change? Did, was there a specific part of your game that, you know, developed that kind of allowed you to kind of get that, you know, besides the exposure? Um, I want to say something grew out. Like I always been tall, I always had skills, if you, if you, ask, if you ask me. But um, it's probably just exposure. Exposure was the main thing for me, I think. Basically. How would you describe yourself as a shooter? As a shooter, yeah. I think I'm a pretty good shooter. I just uh, basically all around game. I just try to like master everything. I would say like uh, handles, shooting, playmaking abilities, everything, just to make sure that I don't have any weakness. 
and yeah, basically I work on everything. And as far as my shooting, I think I'm, I, I've been a pretty pretty good shooter recently. Basically, for the last year, I really improved on that. And I think on the on the army circuit, I'm shooting like something like 40 something, 47 percent. And this tournament, I'm shooting ball good too. So yeah, it's been like one of the major improvements in my game. So making like those deep. ISO step backs like you did in the first game, you know, you made five three pointers. That's that's not new for you. Nah, I've always been I've always been that type of player. Even from international range, you know, being different than the um, you know, the AU line. It's yeah, a, the AU line. Even in the like in the under armor circuit, like the line's closer because it's the state line, but like in my high school we play with the FIBA line and I always shoot like deep toy two pointers because I'm comfortable shooting them and I always like most of them are, if I take them out, most likely to make it so just kind of that confidence that I have in me and just, you know, just working on my shooting and everything, so. Any idea about your measurements, your size, without shoes, your height, your wingspan, etc.? I'm 6'5". Um, my wingspan uh, on the army circuit when we measured it, it was 7 foot. And um, what else she has? Your weight? I'm my weight, I'm 195. So 6'5 uh, with shoes or without? No, with, without shoes. Without shoes. So I mean, with that size, you can play, you know, really any of the three backcourt positions. Which which one are you most comfortable at? I'm most comfortable playing point guard position. I always play the point guard, and that's the position I'm most comfortable playing with. Basically, because I always uh, I describe myself as a playmaker, and when you're a point guard, you need to like be able to like make plays for your for yourself, for your teammates, and for every, everybody on the court. And I always play the point, so that's one of the main, like main thing that I'm able to do. So point guard is. My position. Any players that you really enjoy watching, um, either in the NBA or in the NCAA or whatever? Um, in the NBA, I would probably say like I always like Kevin Durant, like those guys, uh, Paul George, stuff like that. But as for, for like point guards in the NBA, I would say like, point guards like Damon Lillard. A lot of people compare me to like uh, Shea Gilchrist Alexander and the Canadian and uh, Terry Rozier and like Chris Don too on the defensive end and stuff like that. So. Probably those, those guys. Gotcha. Uh, in terms of um, your high school situation, right, so you, I guess it's a little bit different in, in Quebec. Can you kind of explain how, how that works with, you know, the classes and all that? Yeah, basically in Quebec we have a different system. It's not the same system. And like, you go somewhere that's called CJEP, you have to do two or three years over there. Me, I choose to do three years. So I'm, I'm a twenty. I'm a class of twenty twenty. So basically, that's it. Like, it's like a prep when you compare it to the state. It's like a prep. Would you have the possibility to be twenty nineteen if you if you wanted to? Uh, if I if I graduate after like this summer, but I don't think it would be possible. But if I if I had the chance to graduate after this summer, yeah, I would definitely be twenty nineteen. I could. So you're definitely um, thinking about being a twenty twenty. Yeah, probably going to be a twenty twenty. Gotcha. Did you know that you're draft eligible too for the NBA this uh, upcoming summer? I haven't checked that out, but I'll have to check with my coaches and stuff. Yeah. Is that something that you think would interest you? Maybe going straight to the NBA if that was a possibility? Yeah, definitely. That's a possibility because that's my, one of my main goals. But at the same time, I want to get an education too. Like that's important for me and my family. So I have to think that about. I have to think about it, but that's definitely a possibility. So the plan is probably to stay in Quebec, finish off your high school there, or you probably have some options in the States to do a postgrad year if you wanted? I think I'll probably stay in my last year in my high school and then choose from there and see what's going on after that. Gotcha. Who like helps you with your decision making? Is there family, is AU coach, or trainer, something like that? I'll probably say my AU coaches, my high school coach, and basically my parents. I just like to keep my circle tight and just make sure that Nobody else influenced my decision and stuff like that. So, yeah. What would you say is the biggest thing you need to work on to reach your full potential? I mean, probably just like um, understanding the game a little bit more. Like as a point guard, I think I have a good IQ, but I just want to like get better and just basically get better at every skill that I have, like shooting, dribbling, stuff like that. So I would say everything, but the main thing for me probably just being more of a leader, like a vocal leader, because. In my opinion, I lead by example a lot, but I need to be more of a vocal leader too. Where does your motor come from? Motor? Yeah. Probably just like being a competitor, I guess. 
like I hate to lose. I really hate to lose. Like people that know me know that I hate to lose. So just being a competitor, wanting to win every time, like every every little possession, every little moment, like we said. And I want I want to win all of them. And basically, I just play my heart out because I know what I can do for my family and what I want for myself too. So. Any thoughts on you know Senegal being here? Like, did it ever kind of just cross your mind? You're like, you know, maybe if things would have went different, maybe I could be playing for those guys. Yeah, uh, someone reached out to me like, recently, told me that they wanted me to come play for them, but I don't know. I, I was already with the national Canadian team, so it didn't, it didn't really cross my mind a little bit. But it's mean, whatever. I'm with the Canadian team, Canada now, and that's all I'm thinking about. It. Do you consider yourself still Senegalese? Is that a big part of your heritage? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It has to be. No. Cool, man. Great stuff. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate Thanks. it.